guys, we are back with another episode. You know what that means. We are back with our Spend a Day With Me in a Different Town of Connecticut series. I believe this is episode five or six, and I'm so glad you guys are enjoying it. If you don't know, I'm doing this new series across here, Instagram, and I make blog posts for everywhere I visit. The next two days, we are going to West Hartford, and I'm so excited because I know there's a million restaurants down there, and I could never try them all, but we are going to try three of them in today's vid, and I am super excited. It is pretty sunny right now. It's a little on the cooler side, so we're wearing a short sleeve and pants, but I am so excited. So if you're new here, go check out the series below, subscribe, and check out my socials as well because I do a shorter version of these on Instagram so you guys can get a quick look as well. But I would appreciate you guys watching this one and check out the blog post where everything is written out as well. I guess we'll just head out. I'll show you guys my outfit in a minute and we'll get underway. All right, here's the outfit. The top is, I believe, like Joe & Co. It's from TJ Maxx. The pants are simply Southern. They are absolutely adorable. And I figure where I'm always still have some summer. The shoes are Cushioneer from TJ Maxx. Earrings are both Pavoy. My bag is Sinbono. Let's go. First stop, Marshalls. This store is large. Oh wait, it is a Marshalls and a Home Goods though, I forgot. This is nice. Oh, that is cute. The sweaters are out. Court. That's cute. I like the beige better. See, these things look good on you. Those don't look good on me. I don't like cardigans, though. That's my cardigan, but. Is this the white you just looked at? I like the green. I like the beige better, actually. I like the, I like the beige better. I gotta remember I had that nice denim shirt, too. I gotta start. I wanna wear my vests more this year. Oh, my breath. You look so lovely, it scares me to death. Just to get so insecure with you a step I found one thing and it's, she's kind of summery but <laughs> I don't know the top doesn't really fit I could have used a bigger size but it's both the outfit all right first stop iron horse sports bar all right we're starting with the transfusion and the saratoga spritz all right we've got the saratoga spritz and the transfusion oh no, it's good it's good that's all right. Well, then you worked out well. There you go. Because I like this. Cheers. All right, we're starting with the loaded tots, the Brussels sprouts, and the pretzel bites. All right, we put the loaded tots. They smell amazing. All right. Enjoy, guys. Just something about you makes me so. Got the Brussels sprouts, which look divine. The pretzel bites, the Sophia cheese, and the loaded tots. You want to do a dip on another one? You'll be my parachute, baby, no, you'll catch me whenever I fall, I fall. It's like my lace is untied, got me tripping right into your arms. I love the pretzel bite that's actually salty. Good bar food. All right, we just ordered the classic chicken sandwich because we were told it is a fan favorite and we got it fried. And then we are doing the mac and cheese and then we're doing a couple wing flavors we're doing bone in buffalo blue and garlic parm and then we're doing boneless boom boom which apparently is also a very popular one here so many if you're a wing person so many different options your arms headed straight down through the night cloud so is my heart pounds ten thousand feet between my parachute baby no you'll catch me right, so we've got the boom boom boneless the buffalo blue and the garlic parm and then we've got blue cheese and red cheese. Oh, okay. I know you got me. But I don't know what it tastes like. See how we flavor that. I can see how it's like um what you say? Maybe like Chinese uh, uh mm -hmm. Try a, a garlic parm. It's all very crispy, right? No. Try it. Very like creamy or soft. That's because there's supposedly blue cheese in it. In it? Mm -hmm. Buffalo blue, I think that's what they're saying. Oh, I like that it's not that hot. 
<laughs> got the classic chicken sandwich yeah. with some fries, and then we've got the mac and cheese. Very creamy mac and cheese. Alright guys, we just finished up at the Iron Horse Sports Bar and everything was awesome. Very like I'd say pub food, elevated bar food. So many options, something for everyone. All the potato and like fry options are great for again people that want to come in and have like a beer and some fries or beer and a potato. They've got so many different appetizers to try. And then of course you guys saw we got a bunch of wings and other things. And then again, they have so many things on their menu, regular entrees, sandwiches, pizzas, like so many different things. So I would definitely recommend if you're in the area to come check them out. But that is it for today. We will come back to you guys tomorrow for our next spot. All right, so starting with happy hour, we are going to try the shrimp cocktail and the pinza romano, which we're gonna do the meatballs and pomodoro one. Oh, and the harvest sliders. All right, we've got a pinot noir and a rose. All right, so we've got the happy hour apps. We've got the shrimp cocktail, the harvest sliders, pinza romano, the meatball, and the pomodoro one. And it looks yummy. Take the pickle out. Okay, so the happy hour appetizers are very good. I love this dough for not being anywhere near New Haven. Very good. Love the meatball and pomodoro one, especially. Love the sauce, the cheese, everything about it. The little harvest sliders, so good. I love the little bit of a zing. I don't like pickles, so I took it out, but there's still like a little sauce that was in it, I like the juices, and it was very, very good. The fries are very crispy. And then the shrimp, very fresh, you'd say. Yeah. Alright, we've got the regat salad and then we've got the penne al vodka, which is apparently really popular here and known to be really, really good. So let's test that out. And this looks phenomenal and nice and fresh because we're having pasta. <laughs> All right, let's try a noodle. All right, penne al vodka. Oh, that's okay? good. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna try this one. It's a cute. That's penne al vodka. All right, let's try this one. I love the tower of a room. That is really good. And these are fresh, fresh uh, strawberries. I didn't know we're going to be the shape. Sure it can. What do I know? We're getting everything in this piece. Okay. And pomegranate dressing. Phenomenal. With I'm, the I'm strawberry. Thrilled. Phenomenal. Oh my god. Let's go. Okay, let's put the We're going to just have to put the cash. Yeah. <laughs> The pomegranate dressing really goes with the strawberries. It is. All right, so fabulous. <laughs> All right, we've got tons of leftovers, but the main thing I want to say is that if this place was Harvest, if it was closer to us in Orange, I would 100% say it would be our go-to to for like holidays or just like family dinners or whatever. But because it's like an hour from us, um, I definitely would love to come back and then we'll bring my grandparents, but it is obviously a little further from us, so that's the thing with the series. As much as I find restaurants I'm in love, I'm in love with, and I love the food at, some of them aren't gonna be super close to me, but again, I, my mom and I loved everything we got and we definitely love to come back here. So sometimes we'll make a trip, you know, and we'll bring family, my dad or my grandparents will appreciate it. And yeah, so 
cheers to that. Everything was seriously amazing and they definitely lived up to the name harvest. They're like I mean drinking wine on the regular now. Alright guys, so we are back and we are headed back to West Hartford. I'm gonna show you my outfit. We are running late. We are going to Coma's in West Hartford. It is hibachi. That's all I know about it. I'm so excited. It is a, fr a foodie friend's event that she invited a bunch of us to. I'm so excited. So let's go. Here's the fit. Top, Halara. Bottoms, Zara. Wearing my Steve Madden chunks. Poly black crossbody. Necklace is from the cruise. And uh, Jack Maria earrings and Pavoy earrings. Let's go. Here are the chunks with the fresh new petty. The bag. Here we are. So we're actually in the same lot as TJ or Marshall's over there. So that's cool. I was here the other day. Starting off with the pink lemonade. Smile! <laughs> Smile, friend! This is the goiza, I know that. That's edamame. This is the lettuce wrap. We've got apps then. Shrimp tempura. And what's this, do we know? Look oh. oh, guys, it matches my shirt. Yep. I got a matching doll. Oh, cute. I got a matching doll. Let's get a container now. I love a noodle. Do I need? Yeah. Somebody. Oh, yeah. Pick some up. Oh! Hey, 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 hey,
Alright guys, I just wanted to finish talking about Comas tonight. It was hibachi and it was absolutely amazing. And again, it's one of those places if it was closer, I definitely would be going on the regular. Everything was so good. I had the filet steak and chicken and then you got the noodles and the uh, fried rice and, uh, and the vegetables. It was all so good. Everybody brought home leftovers. It looks like a great time because it was a great time, especially with either a whole bunch of your friends, ladies night, maybe with family, maybe for a birthday. Growing up, I never went to Hibachi. First time I ever did it was on the cruise that I was just on a couple months ago and I loved it and I actually hated that I couldn't bring any of the leftovers back to the room or whatever for the rest of the trip. So very happy I have some leftovers for tomorrow because seriously guys, it's so so amazing. If I'm in the area, I will definitely be recommending that to the group that I am with because it was so so phenomenal. And of course the chefs, they always make it such a great time. Thank you to my friend Shelly for inviting me. Thank you guys for watching because it means a lot that you do. That is it for our West Hartford day though. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope if you guys are loving this series, please let me know in the comments if you've ever been to any of the restaurants in this video or maybe the other ones. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to have conversations with you guys down there. But that is it for today's episode. Be sure to go subscribe if you are new and check out my socials which are linked down there as well. I do shorter versions of these on my Instagram and then I post a lot on my TikTok as well. And then I also do a blog post with everywhere we went for each episode and every piece of food, drink, whatever that we got and a little more in depth about like how I felt about the food and everything else so go check that out it's all in the description box so go check it out leave me a comment and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and supporting this series because it's been a really really fun time I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one bye